wouldn't choose a probiotic. You know, those live strains of good bacteria that balance out the gut microbiome. Now, doctors might have recommended it to you for a, a GI issue or maybe a skin condition or something related to your immune system. Now, the tricky part is that you have to have the right genus and species and strain and the right amount of bacteria in order to have a particular health outcome. For example, a culturelle is one that has one strain and it's known to be effective in treating uh, GI issues after you've had a round of antibiotics. VSL-3, on the other hand, has multiple strains and it's known to be more effective for irritable bowel syndrome. Now, it's complicated. Um, there is this interesting um, guide that you can find at uh, usprobioticguide.com, and it lists over 60 different uh, probiotics that are on the market and has about 170 different studies that, that, that discuss the strength of evidence for an expected health outcome for a particular uh, probiotic. Now, there is more that we don't know than we do know about probiotics. So if, let's say, you have your bowel syndrome and you try one probiotic, you try it for a week and if it doesn't work, you try something else. Now also something that's interesting is whether or not it's in pill form or liquid or whether it needs to be refrigerated does not determine you know, how well it's going to work for you. Um, of course, if it is, does need to be refrigerated, you need to do that in order for it not to lose its potency. Now, what about fermented foods? Because foods like kefir and uh, yogurt and kimchi and, and sauerkraut that are fermented also might contain a probiotic, but only if they have a live um, culture. But you can't really rely on it for a clinical outcome because the dosage isn't gonna be high enough. Now, go ahead and experiment with a probiotic. Always check with your doctor first. You don't want to be missing out some you know, health concern that needs to be treated while you're dealing with a probiotic. But probiotics can help, and the downside is, is minimal. Rarely do people have side effects. But what you also want to make sure that you do is pay attention to those prebiotics, those foods that we eat that feed the gut and keep the gut healthy. And that would be high fiber foods like white beans, whole grains, vegetables and fruits, garlic and onion. That is smart eating.